So this is a flash drive with the software to install it on a computer. We have our user manual. Basically, it's gonna explain what goes where, how to install it, etc. There's an envelope here. This is a license agreement. So this is the actual unit that you're ordering. Looking at pictures online, it uh, looked a bit more plastic, I, I should say. This actually has some weight to it. It feels like one of those, you know, uh, mini portable PCs that you can get. Uh, used to have a nook that kind of weights about the same and has the same dimensions, so to speak. So the beauty about this box is this is a fairly small and compact unit, but it packs a lot of versatility in one piece. So we have three ports for SATA. Uh, we have one port for the USB device. We have power supply accessories. These are very interesting. Uh, it's the first time I've seen those. It's uh, an adapter for PCI Express SSDs that converts it to SATA and allows the complex to work with it. For PCI Express devices, you do need the portable. And we get more and more of those units sent in uh, without having ability to work on them. Uh, this was kind of like a no-brainer to get it because, you know, it, the devices are getting more and more affordable. Solid state drives are becoming less and less reliable. They break more often. And uh, having a tool that can um, support that is a great addition to the tool set. So this is the ultimate system. It comes with everything that currently can be purchased with uh, this complex. This device has SSD add-on, it has a RAID add-on, it has all of the adapters from the lineup. This is the first adapter that I wanted to have a look at. I have never seen it before, so I'm quite interested in testing it on some of the problematic SSDs that we got at the shop. This is a adapter for parallel ATA. If you need to convert your device to parallel ATA. If you still get them, there it is. A USB 3 cable, that's to connect the uh, um, portable unit to the uh, machine that you're gonna install the software on. This portable unit actually has ability to work as a standalone without having a need to have uh, a machine connected to it. Uh, through the interface up here, you're able to select certain features, not all of them, but certain features. As far as I know, uh, cloning shouldn't be a problem. You can clone one drive to another uh, without having uh, connecting it to a PC. I have actually a few Apple SSDs that don't work to test this uh, adapter with. I'm looking forward to that. Next adapter on the line is NGFF M.2. So this is regular uh, SATA and uh, NVMe as well. This is the adapter for MSATA SSDs for half size and full size. We've got a micro SATA adapter in here. We've got a USB cable. This USB cable is probably for the diagnostic port and our terminal is right here. Terminal with the Pacific chip on it. So it's the uh, terminal three. So this is the cable that goes into the terminal and uh, these are the ribbon cables. They would then attach with help of uh, uh, vendor-specific adapters to your hard drive. And just as I got this device, I actually got an email uh, from Ace Lab saying that this is a one-year anniversary for Portable 3. And uh, right now, if you buy in this tool, uh, you get two classes of training, which could be extremely helpful if you're new to this. During these times uh, with COVID-19 pandemic happening, carrying a workstation home isn't something that I want to do, but having ability to carry a suitcase with literally everything that you would need to uh, get the case finished, it's uh, definitely, definitely a great benefit to have. I don't know if Ace Lab did this intentionally or not, but the other morning when I was getting ready to go back to the shop, uh, I had to gather up all my things. Uh, my laptop was there. It's a 13-inch MacBook that I partitioned with Bootcamp and set up Windows 10 on it. I realized that uh, this suitcase actually is a perfect fit for a 13-inch laptop. You got your MacBook here and then the rest of the stuff is underneath it. 
My first impressions about the device, I had a, a number of uh, NVMe SSDs uh, that weren't working that PC3000 uh, utility supports uh, translators for and they're currently in process. These are the units that I couldn't solve before. These are the units that don't have any other tools on the market to uh, get them done. So just for the sake of being able to handle cases like that, this tool is an absolute must have. Uh, if you're expecting work of that caliber to come in. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, if you're new to this channel and if you're interested in data recovery and if you're thinking about getting started in this field, check out the description box as well where I will drop a couple of useful links for you. Like this video, share it with your friends. See you in the next episode.